Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on Effects Friday, but most likely this will go up tomorrow or the next day, I'm not sure. I'm sorry guys, I'm just super busy. There's Valentine's Day and then there's the whole entire date day with Lisa's family. I'm sorry guys, but I'm so busy. Anyway, if you guys saw the intro, you saw something awesome. And this might be loud, so let me uh, double click it and then you know make it stop. Oh, I already turned the music down. Perfect. This is a basic audio reaction. A ton of people have been asking how people on YouTube make these ring audio reaction files. And I just made a very basic one, but I think that you guys can apply this effect to anything and make it your own very easily. So yeah, that's basically why I decided to do this video today. And also guys, if you guys could give the video a like, that helps out so much. You guys have no idea. Also, make sure you leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And also guys, my website is down right now. Just check it.com. Brandon and I are trying to fix it. Basically, my uncle is the one that bought the website five or six or seven years ago, however long ago. And we decided that it's time for us to take over. So really, we're trying to put it in my name now and GoDaddy's given us some issues. Sorry about that, guys. I'll put a direct link to all these files in the description, so don't go to checkit.com until possibly like another one or two days. We gotta figure it out. What makes this tutorial so awesome, you guys, is that everything was created within After Effects. No third-party plugins, well, except for this particle ring that I'll be including, though. I pre-rendered this. It's by this guy named Andrew Kramer from videocopilot.net. Uh, everyone knows this guy. I mean, Come on, it's Andrew Kramer, but I'll be including that link in the description if you guys want to make your own, but I just wanted to give credit where credit's due, because if I remember where I learned something, I like to show you guys the original creator. So, anyway, I guess now we can get to the tutorial, so let's open up After Effects, and this is what we ended up having, but you know what? I don't need to save this. New, new project. I don't want to save it. I live life on the edge. <laughs> Anyway, let's get to the tutorial now. Let's double click in this blank canvas area and just grab some of the things that we need. We need from the desktop, we need the city image, we need the particle ring, and that should be it. So, yeah, go to where you guys took those from and I'm going to open them. And now what I want to do is I want to create a new composition. So, I'm just going to make this 1280 by 720 because this can be pretty intense on the computer. So, yeah. All right, guys, first things first, let's create a background. So what we can do is hit Controller Command Y to create a new solid, and we can make it black. That's fine. Let's just call this BG. Hit OK. And now let's go over to our effects and presets and not glow. We want something called ramp. There it is. Generate ramp. We'll just drag and drop that under the BG. And what we want to do is we want to create a radial ramp with a ton of scatter. Scatter just inputs noise, so it's more of a smooth transition. And we want to make the first color kind of a dark blue, kind of worn out. There we go. And the second color we want to make just black. Okay, now let's zoom out. Let's drag this to the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let's just drag this point out. Maybe, maybe right about there. That looks really good to me. Now I'm going to go to fit. All right, perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of make that audio reaction. So we need to find the song that we want. And I might just use a different song, guys. I have this folder in my music folder called Copyright Free. It has all these copyright free music. Everyone's been asking where I get all this stuff. There's this place called No Copyright Sounds on YouTube and also a place called Bye Bye Copyright. And as long as you include the link to these songs in the description, they allow you to use it. No copyright asked. So it's pretty awesome. Let's use Naksu Element. Open. All right. Now I'm going to drag and drop this below the BG. And now, guys, I just remembered that I kind of want to make this different. So let's go to the BG and actually make it from bluish to a reddish, kind of worn reddish. That might be cool, too. If you hit zero, you can listen to the music. All right, pretty cool. So what we want to do now is we want to apply this music to a layer. So let's go Controller Command Y once again to create a new black solid, and we'll name this one React. Okay, and maybe you know make it like red or something so we can tell the difference. All right, now let's go over to our effects and presets and type in audio. Uh, scroll all the way down to Audio Spectrum. Click and drag it onto React, 
and you'll notice that you'll just have this weird looking line and we just need to edit this a little bit right now so start frequency doesn't matter end frequency doesn't matter frequency bands we want a lot maximum height we can mess with that later audio duration we just want to leave it at 90 the important thing is is we need to go to the audio layer switch it from react to the song that we want to use and mine's only at 30 seconds you guys can always make it longer when you're creating the comp but since this is just a tutorial I don't want it to be that long that's what she said so <laughs> anyway now let's mess with the different settings let's change the color here because I hate this color let's do more of a kind of worn out pink on the inside and then pure white perfect all right and maybe we can mess with the thickness here and let's just, uh, you know, make it a little bit, maybe like 1.5. That'll look good. Softness will bring it down and maybe increase the frequency bands because we want a lot of them. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to change the side options to side B. So if we go over to the effects and presets and we type in polar, you'll notice this polar coordinates. This is just one way to make this into a circle. So if we click and drag this over to our audio spectrum layer, we can change the inter the interpolation or whatever that is all the way to 100 and then the type of conversion to react polar and you'll notice now we have this circle so if we hit zero it will react uh, it might take a little while like I said guys I mean it can be kind of intensive on the computer so anyway that's one way of doing it but I like to do it a different way because there's a lot more flexibility with this way if we have the react layer selected and go up to the elliptical marque tool right here and we just click and drag down holding control and shift we can make a perfect circle so that's that's actually kind of big but we can always change this later so let's switch to our move tool by clicking on that button up there double click on the mask and drag it towards the middle right about there is fine <laughs> that looks like a pokeball right now <laughs> anyway what we want to do is change the path right here from none to mask one and now if you click off of the mask you'll notice that it is perfectly synced to that mask and why I have the side options changed is because if you change it to side a now it's on the inside of the circle and if you do side a and B now it's on both but I like it just on one side so that, or that's how it's popular on YouTube anyway so now we can change the maximum height to really get some reaction going and what I like to do also is I like to feather the mask so I bring down the mask options I just feather it because uh, you kinda lose some of the edges on the top it's it's very weird how this works but anyway I'm gonna pre-render this so you guys can see what's going on here Alright, so that's looking a little bit too crazy, so maybe change the maximum height way down. Maybe to like... I don't know, this is all trial and error, guys. You know what, I might just change this maximum height to 500 and call it good. Alright, so now what we want to do is, we want to like kind of scrub through this and make sure everything's looking okay cool so let's add a glow to this react layer real quick so let's go over to our effects and presets and type in glow I'm just gonna go stylize glow click and drag it onto the react layer and it already looks a million times better and you guys can mess with these glow settings but I like how it is right here so I'm gonna leave it alright next what we want to do is we want to import the thing I included or you guys can follow that tutorial on video copilot and create it yourself but it is a very long tutorial and he only talks about this for a little bit so and you need trap code particulars, so that's why I kind of rendered out, you know, one that you guys can use. So now what I want to do is I want to hit S, and I just want to scale this mother up right about there, and then kind of move it so it's perfect. Maybe I'll move this up to 150, and then I'm just going to use the arrow keys to position it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's where I want it, right about there. Perfect. All right, so now we want to bring up the blending modes by hitting F4 and change the blending mode from normal to add and you'll notice that our mask is not correct so let's go to the react layer right here let's double click on the mask and we will just make it perfect so holding control and shift dragging it uh, let's maybe go to like right here so I, I can actually see where it's at oh that's pretty cool alright I'm gonna go to fit once again I'm gonna hit zero so you guys can see what we created Yeah, pretty cool, right? 
So if you guys don't like the bluish color to this, it's very easy to change. Let's go to our effects and presets and type in color. And we just want some color correction here. Maybe, and this is all up to you guys how you want to change it, but I'm just going to go grab a color balance, click and drag it onto the color over here. And now we're just going to decrease the blues so we can start getting a color that we do like. So let's increase the reds really and decrease the greens. Once again, shadow red, increase, decrease, decrease. Well, now we're getting like a pure red thing going on here. And I mean, you guys can spend more time on this, but I'm just going to keep it like that because that's fine with me. So now I'm going to go to fit once again. I'm going to hit zero to see what we've created so far. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, guys, next thing we want to do is we want to go up to our text tool up here. Let's just click anywhere inside of here. And O, oh, capital X, U, U, Naksu. Enter. And then we want to do element. Cool. And we want this one in quotations because, you know, it looks a lot better that way. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to size these up and just make it look a million times better. So... Let's double click on the top here and actually make this top one bolded. I'm using Agency FB. It's a free font. You guys can use whatever you'd like. I'm not the boss of you. Alright. Alright, cool. Maybe like that. And then let's drag that down so they're not so close together. Let's just make sure it looks... I'm going to bring up the title action safe so I'm getting it pretty perfect here. At least by eye. All right, cool. And uh, once you have that done, I'm gonna turn that back off. And it's looking kind of boring still, so let's add in that city picture here. So let's click and drag it into here. And also let's move the Naksu element layer underneath the reaction and everything. And now what we wanna do is we wanna set the city to something like overlay. And we definitely want to change the color of the city. So let's go over to the effects and presets and maybe type in tint. Click and drag that onto the city layer. Perfect. You can always size it up if we want, but I think that looks good right there. All right, now let's change the Noxu element to something else. Let's actually set it to, hmm, let's set it to overlay as well. Actually, maybe soft light. Soft light's brighter. So if we hit shift plus, it'll go to the next one. And we can always go through these if we'd like. But I'm just going to keep it like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate this until it gets a lot brighter. So I'm going to hit controller command D. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Maybe one more. No, no, no. Twice is really nice. Oh, that rhymes too. <laughs> and maybe we can get a little bit better of an effect if we move the city layer underneath it. And maybe mess with the scaling of the city. Move that down. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, guys. So with that, we are done. That was a very basic tutorial on how people do those really cool looking ring things on YouTube. And now you guys can make money off this by, you know, asking different musicians if they want an audio reaction thing to their song, because a lot of them will most likely say yes. But anyway, guys, I've taken up enough of your time today. So let's render this out quick. Let's go up to file, save, and I'm just going to save this project for you guys. So let's save this to the desktop and let's just name this uh, audio react ring that's fine it doesn't really matter okay now we can render it out so i'm going to change the output module from lossless to something easy h264 not too big not too small right in the middle and uh that's how we like it right ladies <laughs> oh gosh i always have to put that stupid joke in but anyway uh, let's go to composition one and let's just name this example ii that's two in roman numerals and now we can hit render so thanks for watching guys i really hope you guys learned something good today and that you guys could take some of the things that i taught you and apply them to your own projects i mean don't copy this exactly make it your own even though i am including the project file you guys can always make this your own pretty easily also guys don't forget to leave the video a like because i do spend a lot of time on these tutorials and it helps out so much i mean it just spreads the word and it helps people find us and such also don't forget to stay to the end because i leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video and you're 
comment from the last video might have made it. So anyway, guys, I will leave it at that. I hope you guys can subscribe and keep being awesome and showing that awesome support. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace. Yeah.